You may think the iPhone 14 Pros have it all, but the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus are packed with a ton of features like removing the background on hundreds of photos, some sweet customization, and blocking your phone from hackers. So let me show you the best tips and tricks because there's a lot. So the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus come with an amazing new camera that has super stabilization. When you turn this on in video mode, you can literally take your phone for a run and see just how good this mode actually is. I mean, just look at this. It's kind of like having a magician in your camera that makes your videos super smooth, like hot damn. Another trick when it comes to camera stabilization, if you head into the camera settings and click on record video, in here you will see action mode low light. If you toggle that on, it'll help with darker shots. But that isn't the only amazing thing about this camera. Check this out. So cinematic mode is actually my favorite mode and it got a new update that you might not know about. Once you're in the mode, if you take a look on the top right hand corner, you can now change from HD to 4K, which I'm very happy about. You can also adjust the frame rate, but there's still something really cool you can do with this mode. So once you've shot your video and click on edit, not only can you adjust the depth of the focus, but if you didn't focus on the right subject, you can adjust that in editing. So you can actually play back the entire video and decide then where you want the focus to be. And every time you tap on a new subject, it creates a keyframe so you can see all your edits. So if you forgot to shift the focus while shooting the video, it's totally fine because you can still edit the focus after you shot the video. Okay, but here's where the really cool part comes in. If you tap on options and then toggle on all photo data, you can actually share this video with other Apple devices and then still be able to edit everything. So not only can you edit the focus on your iPhone, but you can also edit on an iPad and get this, you can even edit the focus on a MacBook using Final Cut Pro. But that's not all because the iPhone 14 can also see in the dark. Okay, this is crazy. Let's say you're in the dark. Well, believe it or not, with the iPhone 14's camera, you can still take a really good picture. All you need to do is adjust night mode. So once you tap on that icon, you can either turn it off, which, you know, won't be the best picture. But if you turn it all the way up, it'll actually capture a pretty good shot. Just try to make sure you stay as still as possible. This gives your camera a little bit more time to capture more light so that you get a clearer, brighter picture, even when it is completely dark. You gotta admit, that is pretty insane. But the best trick is to use a tripod so that the camera does not move. This way you can get the most crispy night shots no matter how dark it is. But now let me show you some pretty hidden editing tips. By now I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that you can remove the background from almost any picture. But here is what you probably didn't know. If you want to remove the background on multiple pictures, all you have to do is select them all, but then save them to files. I just created a folder called remove background. And once they're saved, then go into that file, select them all again. And now just click on that icon. And at the top, you'll see remove background. Just tap on that and bam, in a couple of seconds, the background is removed on all your pictures. And let's not forget, this works with animals, objects, and even people. But that is not all because if you click on that icon again, you can even choose to convert these images into any one of these three options. You can even create a PDF of all these pictures just by tapping that button and in a couple of seconds, it's all done for you. I mean, it could not be easier than that. Now let's chat about customization because with these two apps, you can have a banging lock screen. Within the lock widget app, if you scroll down, you'll see this option GIFs and believe it or not, you can actually have moving widgets on your lock screen. Then with this app, Widgetsmith, you can actually add custom images to your lock screen. So of course you can choose any image you want, resize it and then save because now it's time to add them. So once you tap on add widgets, you scroll down to the application and then add whatever size widget it is you created. So I added a couple of small ones, then scroll down to the other app, Widgetsmith. Again, add the widget size you made, and then it's time to choose your custom creations. I added a picture and then a bunch of GIFs because these continuously move on your lock screen and just look so cool. There's a ton of different styles and combinations you can come up with to change your iPhone 14 into something completely different. 
but there's still more. Because if you like those, then you will love live activities. Basically what these do is takes the app information and keeps them active on your lock screen. So like Spotify, for example, you can scrub songs, skip them, and even pause or play. But the cool thing is it's not just like Spotify, more and more apps are creating live activities like Flighty to see the progress of your flight and Fartmob to see the latest soccer stats. But if you aren't a fan of live activities, you can go into Face ID and Passcode settings and just turn it off there to keep you undistracted. There is so much more to customization. I made an entire video on it that you can check out, but now onto some quick nifty tips. Now, this is something brand new, but also so simple, and I actually love it. With an accessibility under audio and visual, you can toggle on power on and off sounds. So now when you go to power down your phone, you'll actually hear this chime and know your phone is off. And here is what it sounds like when your phone powers on. Then this cool feature I get asked about a lot and it's flash notifications. So you can toggle on LED flash for alerts. Now, anytime you get a phone call or notification, your flash will go off. Then of course, within the battery settings, you've got to turn on battery percentage because it just makes life so much easier and I'm so glad we finally have this. But within battery, there is another nifty feature called clean energy charging. This is only available in the States, but basically your phone predicts when there's clean energy on the power grid and charges your phone using that instead. And in case you forgot this amazing feature or didn't even know about it, within touch right at the bottom, you can toggle on back tap. This is such a cool feature and can be programmed to do so many different things like turning on your flashlight so when you're ready to go, just double tap your phone and that's it, nice. Okay, now this is so cool. The camera actually has a built-in translator. So if you point the camera at any text and tap on that icon, it will select a whole bunch of text, which you can then choose to decide what parts of it you want to highlight. But then if you tap on translate, you can choose to translate that text into any one of 17 different languages, like Spanish. In realidad, no conozco and of course, Apple takes it one step further because you can even take a video of text at any speed Speed. Then when you're done with the video, you can open it up within the photos application, scrub to anywhere within the video, press pause, and then still be able to select any text within that video. And this even works with handwritten text. So if you wanted to, you could even copy that and turn it digital. But what if I told you that your iPhone could turn everything around you into text? So this is a brand new feature to the iPhone 14 and iOS 16. If you scroll down in accessibility and tap on live captions, once you turn it on, you'll notice this little icon appear. Then what you can do is tap on it and select the mic icon. And now you can turn all the sound around you into readable text just using the microphone. It is unbelievably accurate and you can also choose to expand the live captions window if you want. But this can also turn every single sound coming from your iPhone 14 into text, like phone calls, YouTube videos, and even music lyrics. Nuts! Nice. Kind of like this. Next feature. Okay, now let's chat about iMessage because there's a couple new sneaky hidden features that are actually really useful. If you tap and hold on a message you've sent, you now have the option to edit it. So if you made a little typo or a complete mistake, uh, thank goodness you can now go back and edit it and then resend the message. Just keep in mind, both you and the other person can see all the edits you've made, so it might be better to just tap and hold and then click undo send. This can really save your butt from typos, but let me show you how you can save your iPhone 14 from hackers. Okay, so check this out. If you scroll down to privacy and security, then go right to the bottom, you will see lockdown mode. If you tap on this, it'll give you an entire rundown of what it's doing, but basically you toggle this mode on only when you think you're being hacked, because what this does is cuts a bunch of connections to your phone so that nothing can get in. The iPhone 14 also comes with emergency SOS via satellite in case you ever get stuck in the middle of nowhere and need some help. Your iPhone will point you in the direction of the satellite so you can send a quick message. Another safety tip, within emergency SOS, toggle on call with five presses. Now, if you're ever in a pickle and need some help, just tap the lock button five times, an alarm will sound and your phone will call emergency services. 
Then I made a couple of free wallpapers for you guys. So if you liked any of the ones you saw during this video, you can go ahead to my website, hailswall.com. I'll have it linked down below and you can download any one of these. It's completely free and tag me on socials if you use one. If you want to check out the iPhone 14 Pro or Apple Watch Ultra, you can check them out right over here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!